I have recorded the process of me assembling this guitar, so you can watch that if you like, or you can skip to the part where I'm just playing it and you can listen to the tones, because this is the Radio Shop pickups uh, here, the ID Chris Buck pickups. They should be interesting for uh, some of you. I think they are great, and I had them uh, just laying in the box here for a period of time and they are just too good to, to not be in use, so I had to make this guitar to put them in. Hello, so I just found this on Reverb, it's an older Strat body in Fiesta Red. Never had a red Strat before, so then I thought I'd, I'd need to have this, of course. I'm going to make a new parts caster and I'm going to use some parts from a couple of parts caster that I have already but I don't use them because I don't bond with them. I think uh, this one is a pity that I don't really play a lot because I dig the style of it and I will probably make a new effort to make this great again at one point but not right now. Now I will strip it and uh, use the body for another project later on. So this neck looks okay, it's a rosewood, uh, pretty good quality neck, uh, although it's made in China. The thing I don't like about it is the profile, it's a kind of a D profile I think, and uh, I can't get used to it, I don't, I don't feel okay to play it. It's, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that neck. And I have uh, ordered a new neck, it's a C profile uh, with uh, rosewood jumbo frets and it is a 9.5 uh, radius. And I'm hoping that that will be a good match for this body. And for pickups, I will use uh, a set of radio shop pickups that I have uh, laying around here. Uh, it's a pity they don't get any use and it's the crisp Buck set, ID as they call them, Chris Buck set. I have them here and I will put them into this Fiesta Red project. I think that will be good. The next thing I'll have to figure out is what kind of um, pickguard should I go for. Probably none of these. My wife was in here and tried uh, some of them um, to, to match the guitar and she said that she liked this one. I'm not so sure. Uh, it isn't my first choice, but uh, I might, or I might go with a bit brighter one, this kind of style. I think that is a better match to my taste. But most likely I will again, as I'm stripping this, I will most likely use this one. And for a tremolo system, I might use this. This is a very good tremolo system, it's a Callahan one. But what's stopping me from using that is that it's in chrome. It's very, it looks very new. And I want this guitar to have a more of a worn in look. And that's why I have this other pass caster over here that I also don't use. Uh, I put that together in a video you can watch here if you like. I hope that turned up over there, but I... <laughs> this is a guitar that also is quite nice. This is also a neck that I bought years ago on eBay and it's a quite nice neck. But the looks of it is not what I'm after this time. This has a very warm uh, look, a kind of a tiger pattern in the wood. I'm not overly fond of that, but it's a good neck so I will keep this neck. But what I'll take from this guitar now is probably the tremolo system that is uh, more uh, worn in. It's a more of Fender style tremolo and it has this good solid block here. So I will take that. What I don't like with this system is the screws here. They are very sharp. So I'll have to find a solution for that. I might replace those saddles for something from, um, I can't remember the name now, it's a, a company that makes uh, uh, saddles where the screws are hit underneath them. I'll put the name of that here, uh, of that brand. Yeah, 
So that's what I'd take from this guitar probably. And uh, I can't take the pots from this because it has 500k pots as this is humbuckers. I never really use it so I'm, I'm not gonna spend more time on that. So um, the pots can find better use in this one, at least the tremolo will. For tuners I will probably go with these from this neck that I will uh, uh, no longer use. I'll strip the tuners of it and I go with these nickel tuners. I think they will fit good in the new neck that I have uh, ordered. The new neck have holes that are 10 millimeters and I'm, I'll have to check if I have bushings that will fit those holes. I can, could probably just uh, take out this pickguard fully loaded and just replace the pickups with these radio soft ones. Should make it easy for me to do that. Yeah, I think we're good. So I'm just waiting for the neck to arrive. But uh, meanwhile, I can start mounting the pickguard, the tremolo system. And uh, when the new neck arrives, I can just uh, mount the tuners and uh, we should be good to go with uh, getting that in place. Hoping it fits straight in this pocket. Should do. I've measured it and uh, seems to be a perfect fit. Let's get to work. Okay, it's time for an update on the project. I have got the new neck that I ordered. Um, it wasn't quite straightforward. I had to do some work on it. So um, the seller claimed that it was not a China neck, that they made them themselves. But I have my doubt. So the frets needed tending to. They were very sharp, called sprouting, I guess, fret sprouting. Uh, so I have... Um, filed them uh, to be round and also did some uh, of rounding of the fretboard. Looks very nice and dark now. I will admit that I have uh, tinted it a bit darker than I was. I used the stain, black stain really, and uh, I diluted it in some uh, fretboard juice or oil to um, to sit well on the fretboard. It seems very nice and it doesn't smear off. It's, uh, it's quite, it's good. I also had to do a, a leveling of the frets. Almost every uh, fret needed to be leveled. They were, uh, you couldn't see it visually, but I, when I used my fret rocker, this is not a fret rocker, but the concept is that you go over them uh, like that and uh, adjust. So I, I've done that. And so they are all nice and level now. What is left to do on this is to, uh, to uh, file down the, the nut. And I got some new uh, Fender license tuners. Then they are uh, road worn or aged, whatever you like. I think that fits very well with this project. So I love the looks of this neck now. So the question is if it will play good. Yes, and the body. As you can see, I have now installed the pickguard with the pickups and electronics. So this is the pickguard that was on the black strat that I showed you earlier on. Um, but I've changed the pickups now for the Chris Buck set from Radio Shop. It is the electronics that was in here from the black strat. They are uh, 250k, a good quality pots uh, and a five-way switch. So that looks good and the tremolo system from that other parts caster that I showed you, the one that had a bit of sharp screws, height adjustment screws here. I tried to mount one of the other necks that I had to this and I discovered that one of the holes, pre-drilled holes in the body was uh, offset. So I needed to plug that hole and re-drill it to fit, uh, to fit it with this neck plate.
For a celebration, I have my uh, refreshment of choice. Cheers! Ah, so this build has been really rewarding. I'm so pleased with the outcome of uh, this.
The neck is perfect and the profile of this neck is really suited for my hands. It's a modern C. Yeah, and uh, I had some challenges with the frets. I um, had to go several rounds on uh, first with the fret ends. They are sharp fret ends, so they have to be filed down and rounded off. And uh, I had some challenges with leveling the frets. So I tried to just hammer them down. That was not enough. So I had to um, use a file and uh, level some of them. And after the polish, they are quite good. So, so now it's really perfect, this neck. Uh, I love the fretboard, the color of it. And uh, with the right bushings, th these are Fender licensed tuners, but the holes were um, 10 millimeters. I'm not sure what that is in inches. I'll put it up here. But um, they work perfect. And uh, now, uh, the guitar plays well, stays in tune, yeah, and I love the relic job on the body. It's just to my taste, as I, yeah, I, I just love it. But there's one thing that I want to work a bit more on, and that is the tremolo system. Uh, I feel the tension of it is still too hard, and I've gone with five springs. But I read that uh, the number of springs really doesn't have that much to do with the tension of the strings. It's more to do with the uh, quality of the springs. So there are different qualities. There, there are soft, medium and the hard tension springs. So I will try to experiment with getting some that are softer, I think. That will uh, release the tension a bit. So it's, uh, it's a bit too hard now. And I'm not sure if that is causing it or if there's something else going on. It works fine, but it's, the tremolo is very hard to use now, so it's, uh, it needs to be um, fixed to my taste, at least. Well, anyways, um, I love the guitar now and I'm really happy. And the process of building this guitar, I can't say that enough that if you haven't done that, if you haven't tried to build a parts cost of yourself, it's, it is rewarding when you come out with a product that really works. You, you get the action to work, you feel that it's playable and, <laughs> and when it sounds good uh, at the end and plays good, it's, it's just amazing. And uh, I love the process of it, so this is guaranteed not the last guitar that I'm putting together. So maybe a Telecaster would be my next, I'm not sure, we'll have to see, but uh, I love this. But the weight of it, it is a bit heavy, so I have my uh, weight here, so I thought we could uh, just check it to see how much it really is, because it feels a bit heavy. Now bring it over to you so you can see the number, hopefully. I can't see what it says. It says 3.72. It's a bit heavy for a strat, I guess. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers and bye for now. Mm -hmm.